Hello, scholars. Happy Friday. Today, we're going to do our nonfiction and SEL block in a video form. So all you have to do is listen carefully, watch the video, and follow along as I go through what we're going to do today. So we have spent this whole week talking all about you. We've been talking about your identity, your characteristics, and who you are inside and out. Now, scholars, we know that your identity are the characteristics that define who you are. And we know that characteristics are features, like how you look, and are the qualities, so maybe what you like and dislike, and any other details that describe where you're from, where you live, how you feel. So today, we're gonna be thinking about these identities and characteristics and talk even more about you. What you're going to need is a pencil and paper. So if you need to, go ahead and press pause on your screen, go get your pencil and paper, and then you can hit play as soon as you're back and ready to go. So scholars, now that we have our pencil and paper, first things first, at the very top of your page, I want you to write your name. I wrote Miss Ansbro at the top of my page, but you're not gonna write Miss Ansbro, you're gonna write your name. Go ahead and take the next five seconds to get your name down. All right, scholars, so you have your name. Now this is the next thing you're going to do. Right in the middle of your paper, I want you to draw me a face that shows how you feel. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. If you feel happy, you can make a smiley face. Maybe you're tired, maybe you're excited. However you feel, I want to see that on a face in the middle of your page. Now I feel really happy because I get to spend my Friday with you guys, but I'm also excited because I love Fridays. I don't know about you. So I put a smiley face right in the middle because that shows I am happy. Go ahead and draw yours. Now, because we're talking about identity and who you are, I want you to write how old you are on your paper. So I'm sure many of us are five or six, we're big kindergartners now. So in one of the corners on your paper, I want you to write your age, how old you are. So I put mine right up in the corner so that we can see a little bit more about me. Now scholars, this one, ooh, it's one of my favorites. I wanna know where you live. And you don't have to write an address, I just wanna see a picture. It might take a little bit of time because sometimes our homes or our apartments, wherever we stay, it's a little hard to draw. So if you need to, you can pause your video while you draw your picture. I went ahead and I got my house right here and I made it pretty detailed. So I had to pause the video as well so I could take my time to draw my house. Now this next one, oh my goodness, it is also my favorite because I don't think we ask this question very often. What do you love about yourself? Now you might love your hair, you might love your eyes, you might love your fingers, or you might love how you're a good friend. There are so many different things that you might love about yourself and I want you to draw a picture of that. Now, I really love my eyes. You know, I have really blue eyes and blue is also my favorite color. So I have a picture of my eyes here because that's what I love about myself. But you might love something different about yourself and that's okay too. Now this, this is another, it's kind of hard. Another thing you're going to draw is I want to know your favorite animal. Now I know animals can be really tricky to draw. So like I said earlier, if you need to pause your video, you can pause it as you draw and then just hit play when you're ready to move on. Now, I think I told you guys this a lot all week. My favorite animal is a dolphin. So I drew my dolphin in the corner, but I know many of us, like we talked about, love horses and love dogs and love cats and fish. So you get to draw your favorite animal. Now, scholars, there are so many other things that might make you, you. But first things first, I want you to write at the very bottom of your page. This is me. Now, I wanna see you try your very, very best for it to pop up. This is me. And the reason that we're writing this is because this page represents you. It is 
different parts of your identity, how you feel, where you live and where you're from, maybe your favorite animal, how old you are and what you love about yourself. Those are all different things that make you, you. And we're not all the same. We all might have different things that make us who we are. Now that we've finished our page, you might wanna go back and add more details. Maybe you wanted to add some extra details to the home you drew. Maybe you want to add some details to your animal. That's okay. Go ahead and add more details to your page. And then what I really, really love is I would love for you to take a picture and email it to me. I really wanna see these beautiful pages that you created. That's all about you. I cannot wait to see them and I hope you have such an amazing weekend.